This is an overview of the Sail Timer app. Uh, you can see in the bottom corner here the icon for Sail Timer Lite. We're going to use the full app, which has this compass icon. When the screen opens, you can see across the top the wind direction and the bearing, which you can enter, and also options. And across the bottom, you can see uh, the panel for entering information, for results, and for looking at a map if you have an internet connection. So the basic operation is very simple. You can enter a wind direction. So let's say we want to specify that we're standing at the dock before we leave. Uh, the wind forecast is for wind from the east. And we know that uh, in our uh, sailing adventure today, we want to travel to a destination which is uh, upwind, but it's east-northeast. Two pieces of information. We enter uh, optimal tacking route, and right away we can see that we've got two angles to sail in order to get to a destina destination upwind. That's pretty straightforward. Now we can add in some extra information under options. So we go to options and uh, here under the more tab, uh, you can specify your boat length uh, along the waterline. So I'll specify that it's 23 feet. Then I can go back and maybe I want to also specify a distance uh, for our destination. And let's say that that distance is two miles upwind. Now I can specify optimal route and that's going to show take me to the map screen. On the map screen though, maybe I want numerical data, not just to see where I'm going. So I press results and now you can see that I've got extra information. Uh, on tack one, it shows me 45 degrees as the tacking angle uh, on the compass. It shows me that although I'm going two nautical miles to my destination, the first tack is going to have to be 1.8 nautical miles. The second tack is 0.8, so the two tacks together are larger and are a total of 2.6 nautical miles in order to get to a destination that's two miles away. And it also shows me that uh, uh, my uh, tacking time to destination is going to be 17 minutes on the first tack, seven uh, minutes on the second tack for a total of 24 minutes. If I want to go to the map and add in some extra information, uh, I can zoom in and out here. This is using Google Maps. Uh, I can manage waypoints. So I can say, uh, I can add a waypoint. I can look at a list of waypoints that I already have. Uh, I can change my waypoint. So uh, if you say set current position, it sets it in the center of the screen with the green uh, pin. Uh, if you want to move it, move the map over and click it again. If I want to go to a waypoint, uh, I can say enter, go to a waypoint, and I can specify that I want to go to the marina. It tells me now I had specified two nautical miles as our destination. The marina is only 0.6 nautical miles away. So I can then look at the uh, screen here with the map, and now our current position is here. The marina is here and the tacks that I need to get there are from uh, my current position to this purple pin and then the destination is at the red pin. We like to add a line onto there to show the actual tacking route, but uh, the uh, uh, iPhone SDK doesn't allow us to overlay a line on the map. So because there are three pins to go to, that's your tacking angles. And if you go back to the results, you'll see here that the uh, purple tack and the red tack are shown here. Uh, so tack one goes to the purple pin, which you see there, tack two goes to the red pin. And that's why we showed the purple and red on the two tacks on this screen. So that's about all there is to it. You can see that it's pretty quick and easy and gives you some useful information about your tacking angles and how long it's going to take to tack to your destination that you can't get uh, any other way. Thank you.